Alright guys and welcome back to more Conception 2 and what I pretty much did off camera just to let you guys know um, I might have to change it again if I can bring up the menu if it's possible well, no, we have to go to the dorm room to bring up the menu um, for some odd reason what I just noticed I'm not even sure if it changed at all hell no it didn't even do it now the thing is <laughs> it just I was just about to say what I did off camera was change this the the lowest possible and then have the voices all the way up because the voices like don't seem to you know they get overpowered by the BGM so we're gonna see how this works I think it plays loud enough maybe you can just put it on 2-2 two, 2 two might be good alright let's listen for it well we can turn it up completely off too Damn, that's pretty cool but anyway, so we are back in. What we are going to do is pretty much go ahead and view the events at the school so we can start hanging out with our uh, mamacitas, I guess you can say. So let's go ahead and save it. Can we confirm it? Save changes. There we go. So now the voices shouldn't be overpowered. I mean, this is a good setting because I can still hear the music and the voices should be very... Wow, we should be able to actually hear, the, hear them now. So, without further ado, let's back out and uh, hit up the academy. Oh, yeah, what, 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 about to hang out with my girls at the academy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuko or Ellie, maybe Chloe or Narika. Yes, 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 yes. You know, screw it. Let's hang out with, uh, let's hang out with Ellie. What, 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 what? School entrance. I wonder if this is voiced. Yo. Hey, do you want to come with me to the bathroom? You know, like friends do? What? Sorry. But I'm busy right now. <laughs> I didn't know friends went to the bathroom. I know girls go to the bathroom together, but dudes, man, that's kind of uh, weird. Are you meeting a girl? Well, if you are, work to make your bonds stronger. The closer you are to a girl, the stronger the star children you make with it will be. <laughs> And the best way to make a strong bond is, the, is persistence and devotion. Just keep talking. Nah, that Thanks. sounds right. That's kind of creepy, but you may be on to something there. I'll keep that in mind. Hey. Well, I guess I'm off to the restroom all alone then. See ya. <laughs> Whatever you say, Klotz. Roger Klotz. <laughs> Yo, he's got the red hair too. He's Roger Klotz from Doug Funny. I searched all across the academy, but I can't find Ellie. Who can she be? Ellie, are you late again? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Chloe. I haven't been told much in detail, but you can't come to class late, okay? Be careful. I'm sorry, I'll try and come on time. Wow, tardiness. Yeah, I got scolded. Ellie. Hey, you are. I've been looking for you. Ah, I didn't notice you there. Good morning. Hey. Were you looking for me? Yeah. I just oh. told you that. It's already noon, though. <laughs> That's true. I should have just said hello instead. I'm sorry. I only got to school just now. Really? Are you sick? Did you stop by somewhere? Did you oversleep? <laughs> Let's say... Did you stop by somewhere? Hmm? Oh, not really. I had some work to take care of. Huh? Work. But you were looking for me, right? Ah, if we need to go to the labyrinth right now, I can go at once. No. I just wanted to hang out and introduce myself. We'll be classmating together, you know. Oh, I see. Then I should introduce myself properly as well. 
I'll do my best, so I hope we can get along. Damn, I just straight up told her, you know, we, we gonna be, you know what we gonna be doing. So, I'm just letting you know right now who I is. We gonna be, we gonna be, you know, classmate. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seeing you all the time from now on. I was surprised to be chosen as a disciple, but I'm happy to be able to meet you. You have the craziest eyes, you know that? Huh? Why are you happy to see me? It's not important. Don't worry about it. Oh, afternoon classes are going to begin soon. I'm sorry. If I'm any more late than I already am, I'm really going to get yelled at. All right. Please excuse me. All right, no problem. All this about work and being happy to see me. I don't really understand that, girl. Well, I guess I'll just get used to her eventually. All right, I guess that's all we can do. I'm not sure if I answered anything right about that. All right. So here we go, we got three more, well we only got two more people to hang out with. We have to choose carefully who we want to hang out with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, let's hang out with Narika. Let's hang out with the girls we don't even know. Second year class, huh? Narika. Oh, hi. Is there something I can help you with? I came to get you fired up. I stopped by to say hi. I stopped to see how you are. Let's say that. Definitely. We're going to be fighting side by side from now on. So I thought it would be good for us to get to know each other better. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. It won't be easy, but between the two of us, I know we can do it. Yes, of course. As long as you're fine working with me, I'll try my best. She sounds familiar. It would be my pleasure to fight alongside you. That wouldn't be Karen Strassman, would it? <laughs> hey, it's God's gift in Narika. Looking awfully friendly. Just leave us alone, Klotz. I'm trying to get my classmate on. Uh, oh, uh, no, it's nothing. I'm trying to get my classmate on, bro. So you wouldn't mind being my pal too, I take it? Whoa, Klotz. Not at all. I'd be glad to. Come on, Klotz. Then on behalf of all the guys who want to know you better, I have a question. Do you have a boyfriend? Wow. Wh so direct. What? Why do you want to know that? Hey, you're a cutie. You're modest and polite, so a lot of guys are into you. Uh, I'm not too sure that's true. <laughs> no. He's right. You are pretty popular among the guys. You too. Narika, your face is bright red. You okay? I... I'm completely fine. I just have to go... Uh, do a thing. Oh, no! Hey, you see what Narika. you did, Klotz? Klotz! Klotz! I was trying to classmate. I was trying to get my classmate on. You came out of nowhere with your red hair having ass. Oh, and my God. There she goes. Show fault. Your whole fault, Klotz. <sighs> well, I suppose I know her a little better now, at least. Damn it, Klotz! Alright, let's talk to Chloe. Heroin data. Whoa, she's mad at me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fucking Klotz! Klotz! This your fault, Klotz! Oh my god. So, you know what? This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna save the game. Cause every time we say something, apparently they change their mood. And Klotz just messed up the mood so hard. It's Klotz. Damn it, Klotz. Alright, so here we go again. <laughs> Back to the academy. Talk to Chloe. Man, it's gonna take some work to get to know these girls and how they respond accordingly to them. Miss Chloe. You have a minute? Hmm? What is it? Whoa, you hear this? Came here to say hi. Came here to see you? Oh, it's nothing really. Let's say I just came here to say hi. Yo. I just came here to say hi. You came all this way to say hi? That's very sweet of you. Yeah. Must be difficult to juggle fighting and teaching, so I'll do my best to help. And I'll support you in any way I can. Really, there's nothing we can't do if we just put our heads together. Yes. I don't want you to think of me as just your teacher. We're in this together. Got it. We're all in this together, yeah. No, no, no. Uh-uh. 
That's too military. Just take a deep breath and relax. Really? Um, Miss Chloe, can I ask you a question about the next concert? God damn it, Mitsuru is in his game! Certainly. I'll be right with you. Sorry, I have to go now. <sighs> She's really busy. I'm glad I got the chance to talk to her. Alright, so depending on his response, I guess tells you like how it went. Yup, it went good. Nice. But 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 what 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 macking it up? What 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 macking it up? Macking it up? What what what? My name's Herbal Proxy. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, I guess, go ahead and talk with Klotz to see if anything happens. Second year class. Hey. Hmm. Did I ever tell you that Fuku and I ever, or we used to live close to each other? Wait, really? <laughs> we're both from back east on the continent. Okay, our towns were so close we could. All right, my bad, guys. Uh, my mic got unplugged, so I had to literally wait for like I don't know a good two minutes to render out like the first ten minutes of my commentary. Plug back in my mic, get it working, start it right back up, and here we are again. God damn it, I hate when that happens, but you know what? I just need a new USB cord for my mic. But without further ado, let's just go through this conversation. Our towns were so close we could see the root stone from the same angle. I bet you noticed we got some pretty awesome names too. You're a little jealous. It's okay, lots of names like ours. <laughs> lots of names like ours where we're from. Yeah. And come to think of it, you two were together when I met you. <laughs> yeah. We bumped into each other at the station back oh, home. Damn. I thought it was fate. Hey, you're going to the academy too, but you know. Anyways, <laughs> everything was real quiet back home for the for me and Fuko. You and I are from such different places. It's amazing we even get along. Hey, but we're buddies now. You can talk to me about anything, and I don't and don't skip the details. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> We gotta proceed the story or let's return to the fort city. Let's see if we can do anything here. You know what? Let's classmate. About the classmate with Chloe. Classmate. Classmate with Chloe. She's in a good mood, ain't she? Yep, she's in a real good mood. Uh -uh, I ain't going big. No, we can't mack it up with her. Look at that face. I guess they have neutral faces. And then they have, I don't know, maybe that's just a portrait. <laughs> but anyway, right now she's mad. So obviously we're gonna, we're gonna mack it up with her, Chloe. All right, let's go ahead and classmate with Chloe. Do we have any other Matroskas? No, we don't. Here we go. Let me get that mouse out the way. Miss Chloe. Are you ready to begin? Yes, let's get started. But, um, how exactly do we get started? Really? Hmm? Are you nervous? I mean, you're a teacher here. You should know these things. A little, yeah. I've never had to do this sort of thing before. Yeah, really? If, if you don't mind, would you show me how to do it? <laughs> oh, I'll show you more than that. Got it. Give me a hand. Like this? Yup. Definitely. Are you ready? Sure. Please be gentle. Oh, don't worry, girl. I'll be gentle. Touch my heart. That's never gonna get old. I'm just saying. Whoa. We got swordists. We got thieves. We got grapplers. Magicians. Clearance. Whoa! A whole bunch of stuff was unlocked. All right, let's see. I don't think we have any clerics, do we? We have a. We already have a gunslinger. What about a magician? We have a cleric. We don't have a magician yet. A swordist. A standard. Okay, let's get a magician. Frey. Random name. Luna. Oh, look at this. A Sailor Moon name. 
Ellie, Flora. All right, her name is Chloe. So let's try to make a name very similar to her. You know, whatever. Well, let's go. Let's go random for now. Lola, Flora, Sophia. Yeah, that. You know what? Let's call her. Let's name her. You know what? Sharia. Why not? Let's name her kid Sharia. Yeah, just like Tells of Grace's Sharia. Oh, yeah! The silhouettes change for each girl, too, which is cool. BP 5%. Nice to meet you! BP 5% off, huh? Hey there, you can count on me. Whoa, you tired? Hmm? It's done. Uh, really? Yup. I got so nervous. I hope I did everything all right. I'm all right. Star Child was born, so it looks like we did everything right. I'm glad to hear it. Since I'm a teacher, it would be embarrassing if I failed. I do feel like you did most of the work, though. I'm sorry I couldn't help. No. That's not true. The Star Child couldn't have been born without the both of us. You're right. Hey, next time you go to a labyrinth, would you take me with you? That way, I'll be able to help you out when you really need it. Definitely. You bet. It's a promise then. <sighs> <laughs> I think we're done for now. You seem exhausted. Oh my. I must look like a mess. Give me a call if there's anything I can do. Alright, time to have my... My yeah. ritual cigarette. Hey, Ergo. <laughs> what up, Klotz? I just classmated with your sister. Since you're here, it probably means you're here for some class meeting, right? Clots. Yeah, I just finished. You too? Not really. Uh, no, I just happened to be walking by. I wasn't trying to peek on you class meeting with the girls or anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, at this rate, you're going to have nine star children in no time. I mean, you'll need nine star children to create three teams. Oh, really? No problem. You need three star children per team in order to make a balanced team. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah. I'll try my best to get nine. Stop it. Oh man. I'm so jealous. I mean, you have a duty to get it on as often as you can. Uh-huh. And anyway, I've got some good news for you. Ruby just told me. What's up, Klotz? The more you take a star child into the labyrinth, the more they will like you. Oh, interesting. This game seems to have like a lot of mechanics, dude. Like when it comes to like the star children, the art, the damn mechanics to how they grow, the growth mechanics. Uh, what type of freaking star children you can get. I think some of this stuff is randomized too, I believe. She also suggests you take the girl that is the star child's mother and any siblings. <laughs> well, I've done my job. I think I'll stick around and see if I can get better. I mean, uh, I gotta get back to my studies. He's trying to get a better view. See ya. First, I have to get nine star children, huh? All right. I better start making more children so that I can have three full teams. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. This game is so... I, I don't even know what to say. Wait, can I just have... Can I do it as much as I want right now? Oh, I need BP. You need to have at least 100 BP. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. Let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop. Whoa. Can I classmate with the lady here? Oh, wait, was that a dude? I didn't get a good look. I, I looked away and I just seen the hair. Anyway, you can check each character's parameters. You can buy, sell, bulk buy. All right. Welcome. We have everything you can need. All right. Let me see what you got. Looks like we have. A weapon for GG Gunslinger. Try them on and buy what you like. Push triangle or push square to trade in. So we can trade in weapons and whatnot. Twin swords. Twin swords plus. But look how much money they cost. God damn. Can I buy anything for my new child? Plus 10. 
Uh, more magic would be good. Alright, let's get the toy wand. Plus, the toy wand plus. Alright, cool. Child clothes. Speed goes up. What, magic defense goes down? Is that what it's saying? Yeah. Hold on. Alright. We might be taking Sharia into the next uh, dungeon. Or AKA Chloe. Blessings from the Star God will raise your stats. Knight's Belt. Damn, dude, there's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to this, dude. Oh my goodness. Like, everybody has separate equipment you have to buy. And you probably get better stuff unlocked throughout the entire game. So, yeah. Right now, I don't think we need to buy anything because we were doing so well before in the dungeon, in like that tutorial dungeon. It seemed easy. I'm not sure if it gets hard later. But right now, I think we are good. We are good. Let's exit. Thank you. Alright. So shopping seems to be very cool. Since you can buy stuff for everybody in the game. Alright, looks like we have to go to the academy now. Alright, let's hit up the academy. Let's pass some time. Proceed the story. Oh yeah. The laboratory. Oh. Hello, Ergo. What's going on, Mark? If you're ready to go, shall I call for the chief? Please do so. I'm alright. Please do so. Alright. Alright, I'll, I'll go get her. Wait here for a moment. Station. The day we send God's gift into a dust circle is finally here. Thank you. We are all counting on you, Ergo. Roger that. Understood. From here on out, you'll be traveling to the dust circles using this ship. Hmm, whoa. Look at this. Looks pretty pimp. This is... Never seen anything like it. It's the world's fastest ride, made with the latest technology from Angel Marker. Really? Its name is the ES Savage. The ES Savage, huh? It's the newest model, loaded with the Supernova Star Engine. The Supernova Star Engine takes an ether from the atmosphere. It uses it to amplify the passenger's star energy and convert it to propulsion power. Is that you, Bryce? You'll use this craft to reach the dusk circles all around the world. It runs completely on autopilot. Wow. The dream come That's true? ridiculous. <laughs> if Klaus saw this, he'd go nuts. All right, guys. Get your inner children back under control. Who are you going to take into the labyrinth with you? We will take... I think we should take Fuko because we only have one kid with Sharia. Or Chloe, so... Yeah, we, we have to take Fuko. I mean, it's only smart to do so. Gale. Damn, look at my stats go down a lot, but with her, four of my stats go up, attack go down, defense goes down, tech goes down, but if I bring Fuko, everything remains neutral. But Fuko is probably the best option right now. Yup. What, what does scale mean? Oh my goodness. Look! Look at the the stats one through a one through nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, dude. Who's gonna get that high? Who's gonna freaking get that high? <laughs> this is outrageous. All right, we're taking Fuko. We have to. Very well. The other girls will be able to monitor you two over the communication gear. Okay. And don't try anything funny just because you're alone with her. Okay. Chief Ruby. What do you think I am? I'm just trying to ease their tension. Well, good luck, you two. Whatever you say, Ruby. I think Ruby wants me. Ruby wants the... Wait, these are areas called dust circles. Scattered throughout the land. Among these dust circles, the ones with particularly special qualities are called the Vice Labyrinths. Your goal is to co conquer all these labyrinths. As you proceed through the story, sub-labyrinths will appear. There is no need to beat these labyrinths, but you have a chance of finding rare items within them. You should try these labyrinths as well. Okay, cool. It goes to reach the depths of the labyrinth and defeat the duck spawner and suppress the labyrinth's activities. Each labyrinth has a different number of floors. You need to be careful because their layout changes every time you enter. If you have accepted any quests that are related to this specific labyrinth, there will be a mark on the labyrinth and you can check specifics about it. Alright, when in a pinch, each floor in the labyrinth has an escape point that allows you to return to the city. When you enter the labyrinth again, you can enter from any of the floors that you have already visited. 
So if you are ever in a pinch, you should escape from the labyrinth as soon as you can. You can just come back anytime. That's cool. All right. We can change heroin if we want right now, but let's go ahead and do this. All right. Time to hop into our first labyrinth. Damn, that looked pretty cool. We'll... Blah, blah, blah. We will be arriving at the dust circle momentarily. All personnel must change into battle attire before entering the dust circle. Oh yeah! Transformation time! Douche, are you ready? <laughs> Yes, we will have to see this every time before we go into a labyrinth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can skip it, but why would you want to? Look at this. Jail time for days, but I don't care. Going to jail, but I don't care. The dust circle. We are now entering the dust circle. Please brace for impact. Oh boy. Now, if you guys hear like a change in my voice from the over the past few videos, I just got back from recording Phoenix Wright before I started this video, just to let you know. So that's why, like, my voice may sound different. It kind of hurts right now, and I'm not trying to talk as much. So if you heard like a couple of pauses without me talking, it's because I'm not trying to talk as much because my voice hurts. So this is what lives in the labyrinth. Hmm. A place where no ether can reach. It's mysterious. This is. Just like Mark said, there seems to be a maze inside. No way. Seems you made it there safely. Yeah. We're going to enter the labyrinth now. The deeper you go into the labyrinth, the stronger the dusk energy becomes. Mm. Obviously, that means the monster will be stronger as well, so be careful. Roger that. All right. Finally, moving through labyrinths. You can check the layout of the dungeon within the, la or the radar map. You can switch how it's displayed by pressing the square button. You can move the camera. Yeah, we already learned this. Monster symbols. Weak, average, strong, event. Ah, okay, the monster symbol. So if it's a red enemy, it's strong. Average is purple. Like, it's, it's like a smaller purplish design without, with blue eyes and it's weak. Event enemy is like a very colorful, uh, sand warm looking thingy. Also, if your allies are much stronger than the monster, you will be able to skip battle with them entirely. Even if you come in contact with the symbol through God's spoke, if the protagonist unequips his weapon, you will not be able to use this ability. Destroy weak enemies with a single hit. Okay. That's cool. That's very cool. Just skip battles if you're stronger than the enemies. That's dope. There are gimmicks that will damage you. Ones that will heal you, ones that will affect you in battle, and others that have special effects. There are special kinds of doors that which are sealed. In order to open these doors, your star children must be over a certain strength. Treasure chest? Recovery spring and sealed door. Gimmicks don't always have positive effects, so be wary of them as you explore the labyrinths. We'll probably get bodied by these effects more than anything. Alright, we got our kids. Oh my god. You only have one kid. Where's our team? Team info. Alright, so never mind. I thought... I thought for a second there that we didn't have our team with us. I was about to say, like, what in the world? Alright, here we go. How do I swing? Can I swing on the world map? Alright, here we go. Uh, we're not going through that. Let's go through this door. Let's put on the map again. It's a chest. Potion! 750. Yes, I wanted this! Reminds me of Star, uh, Fantasy Star. Like, the way the them um, the pop-ups appear. So, this is an average enemy, I Don't believe. Let your guard down. Oh yeah. Alright, battle screen. Wow, even more tutorials! Damn! Action menu, turn order, chain drive gauge, ether density. Okay. Perform normal, perform skills, yes. McHugh a special command to unite the powers of the Star Children. Set the actions. What the? This music though. Yo, someone has the name Yuri. <laughs> hit points, the, the amount reduces when you are hit. Of course, obviously, basic RPG shit. So let's see. Matt is magic attack, and MDF is magic defense. 
speed swiftly. It mainly affects the turn order and dodge rate. Dexterity mainly affects the hit rate. Attack, luck, it will affect critical breaks and other things. Directional and area. Okay. Weak points on monsters. Monsters are weak from certain directions, and these are called weak points. By attacking the enemy from this direction, you can deal out heavy damage. Certain skills will allow you to attack from different directions at the same time. You can aim for- wow! Aim for weaknesses by using these moves instead of having to move. It is important to think about weaknesses in order to fight efficiently. Turn order and action costs. Skill use. Ally and enemy icons display will represent the, tor the turn order of the units. The unit is able to take action. Okay. Damn, there's a lot of depth to this battle system, dude. It, it just leaves so much room for strategy, it sounds like. Alright, so here we go. We have God's Poke, I believe. Oh, I guess we don't. Alright, here we go. Let's get behind him. This should be a one-hitter quitter. Uh, nope. Okay. Heal. We have heal. We can guard now, finally. Two forty-two. Okay. Whoa, we all got hit. My turn. We all got hit from right there. Okay. So if we're all in one spot, we all get hit. Makes sense, right? Because we're all we're all one unit. We're technically one unit. One team is one unit, so they share HP and MP. All right, I get it. You're dead. All right. Okay. Okay. Glow twenty. Some level ups though. Damn. They got one level up. Look how high those stats increase. 28 HP, 20 luck, and 20 speed. Well, the stats are like 9,999 for the max. Level up. I'm so glad I worked so hard. Alright, let's take care of this other monster and we'll take a break here. It's been a busy day. I've been classmating, killing monsters, raising children. Damn. Oh, skills and speed up. Skills are special uh, special abilities that each member has. Yes, we know. I know. The Mech Unite is when three star children unite their powers to go into a more powerful form. The team's element will reflect what type of element that mute. Yeah, yeah, you will be able to gain powerful attacks from this form. Think carefully about. Oh wow, but it requires you to consume a fair amount of BP. We don't want to waste BP. You're able to select the tactics the team will use by when autoplay is turned on. Okay, press the triangle button during the battle menu. Status element, poison, tech, redu uh, tech reduction is panic, paralysis is speed reduction, seal can't use skills. That sucks. The priority, certain monsters will cause you, or can cause you to have status elements. The priority of these effects are poison, panic, paralysis, seal. If a status element with higher priority is cast on the character, the char character status element will be placed with the- Okay, so only one status element at a time. That's all- That's like less worry. That's really cool. So we won't get inflicted by poison and paralysis, which would really suck to have both of those at the same time. And then seal on top of that would be suck. When a star HP, when a star child's HP becomes zero, it would turn back into a Matroska. The team status won't be affected that much, but the skills that the fallen child has will be unusable. The star child will be back to normal, will turn back to normal by using a healing item or skill on it. If the entire team turns back into a Matroska, then the team will be considered incapacitated. Star children that are turned back into Matroskas are, or are incapacitated will receive less experience than usual, so be careful. Incapacitated protagonist. When the protagonist HP becomes zero, your party is incapacitated. You will lose some of your money, so always keep an eye. Ah, oh, one person dies, the whole battle dies. Ah, oh, or more. In, in fact, if the main character dies, everybody else dies. When, wind ups and strong attacks. Most of these attacks can be divided between weak attacks and strong attacks. Weak attacks allow them to change attacks directions and don't deal that much damage. Strong attacks have wind ups and deal high damage. So power up attacks basically turns. Wind up. Alright, remember to watch out for these wind ups so you can prepare. Okay. Alright then. We should have a. I thought we had a skill. I'm pretty sure he had a skill though. I guess he doesn't have God's Pope. Is it because of his equipment? Can we change equipment? No, we cannot. Alright, let's just go ahead and attack him from the back. 
Oh, let's have them defend. Alright. Next. Hit him from the back again. Yeah. Ugh. Is that it? Nice. Feeling good. I should keep this up. Alright, let's get this out the chest. Now from what I can tell, the dungeons seem very linear, but it's no different from Persona 3 or 4. Them dungeons were linear as fuck too. So here we go. That's not really a complaint. Cuts out all the bullshit. Monastone. Yes, I you always wanted this. Shut up, Nadia. What I tell you. But anyway, <laughs> here we go. We're gonna save the game, take a short break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more Conception 2, and we'll go through this entire labyrinth next time. Right now, I need to take a short break. <laughs>